bada bing, bada boom. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> oh my days, what a crazy hot day today. Um, yeah, on the way home and uh, passing through Knightsbridge because uh, yeah, you gotta do that. Look at the time. It's a quarter to eight in the UK in the evening. Today was at 32 degrees or 33. Extremely hot. So hot. I'll be rocking shorts today as well. Yeah, so anyway, so um, yeah, let's go home. The long way around and uh, hopefully you can find some nice cars for you guys to look at while you're doing whatever you're doing at home, in the park, whatever. So yeah, hope everyone's good. And uh, <laughs> man, summer is pretty insane. Well, when I say summer, I mean the first, the few days that we have sunshine. Like I think yesterday, uh, today, tomorrow, uh, I see thunderstorms. So yeah, there you go. So anyway, better late than never. But uh, I could just leave you guys hanging with no uh, live stream today. So that's I'm out here before it gets dark. And uh, let's see what goodies we're gonna find today. Who knows? Who knows, people? But apparently yesterday there was an F50. There was, I think, McLaren F1. There were all kinds of uh, insane exotics out yesterday. But uh, yeah, I had to work, so. Uh, there's a Maserati in the distance. Is that Maserati? Could be a Jaguar, who knows? Interesting window display. Uh, yeah. But anyway, um, in case you're new here, ooh. You know what, I forgot one very important thing. That is the chat screen. Okay, so over that way is Harrods. And over here is Harvey Nichols. And up that way is Hyde Park Corner. And that is where we're gonna go. Royce combo. <laughs> oh man. One drop top. And uh, one coupe. What is that? Is that a Brabus? I got a Brabus seat wagon right there. And uh, we got a very, very unhappy bus driver. He's unhappy with a uh, Uber driver. No one seems to like Uber drivers, man. <laughs> They are only screwing up. It seems anyway. Interesting. Painted by Christopher Kane. Who the hell is that? Should I know who that is? Who knows? <laughs> I can see McLaren. Pamsy for a while. Yeah, I ain't been around for a while. I'm, I'm, I'm live on YouTube right now, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm live on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice to see you. I need to. Okay, all right. Take it easy, bro. I like your shirts. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, look at that, man. Uh, yeah, we've got um, Rockers TV fan base. And uh, he says he likes his shirts and the t-shirts and stuff. So there you go. What up? <laughs> all right. Man, like, uh, yeah, all kinds of cool people out and about today. It's a madness. You know what? I'm gonna check out this hotel right here, right? Let's see what might be hiding up in here because you just never know. <laughs> this guy <laughs> oh my days but uh yeah london is absolutely sizzling out here today so uh yeah very 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 unbelievable at least right for, for us here in the uk we're not, we're not used to this kind of weather man uh if we get like 16 degrees we're happy but today like 32 33 that's a whole different level of heat 
extreme. But it ain't gonna last, man. <laughs> we get one or two days of that a year, and then after that, it's downhill. But uh, we went a few more sunny days. When it's sunny in the UK, all you smell is barbecue up in the air, man. A lot of animals give their lives. Uh, look how empty that is. Nothing there. God damn it. We got Charlie ranting them. What's happening, Charlie? So a lot of animals give their lives here in the summer, man. Because people are roasting chickens, lamb, beef, and all sorts. So I guess the plants get a break in the summer. It reminds me of Dubai. Because in Dubai, all you smell is like like barbecued stuff in the air and oud. I mean, not together, but sometimes it gets mixed in the air and stuff. It's a very interesting aroma. Charlie, what's up, man? How's it going? Hey, if any of you guys watched the F1 today, what a race. What a crazy race. Lewis got a lot of heat, man, for no goddamn reason, as usual, man. It was a racing incident. No one died. It was a good race. Look at that old roller. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no one died. It was a racing incident. But some people want to take it to the extra level, saying that Lewis only cheated. You can't be a seven time world champion and be a cheater, man. That, that's not how it works. He is one of the coolest drivers out there. Michael Schumacher, that guy, he was in all kinds of shady stuff. He doesn't get the same kind of talk about him and stuff. So, something nonsense. But uh, yeah, it was a good race. We want more racing. If you're gonna start penalizing, basically what happened was like uh, Lewis and, uh, uh, and Max uh, tangled, had an accident. Um, but basically, they touched in a, in a very fast corner and Max gets sent spinning to the barrier. And uh, yeah, and everyone's like, oh my God, Lewis cheated. At the end of the day, both drivers, right, could have given each other more space, but they didn't. They're racing for the world championship. And of course, you see, a, you see like a gap, you're gonna go for it. Like, that's what you wanna see. We don't want drivers who are like second guessing. You see a gap, you go for it. We want to see racing, not, or not all that sanitized, you know, Monaco procession crap that, you know, we've seen a few months ago. We don't want to see that. We want proper hard racing, and that's what we've got today. So stop moaning. Let the drivers race, man. That is what we want to see. So Lewis got a 10 second penalty. Yeah, Lewis got a 10 second penalty, leaving uh, Charles Leclerc or Ferrari to take the lead. But Lewis came back and actually won the race. Now that is insane. Even more insane right now is McLaren. Look at that. Uh, McLaren Scud. <laughs> that is dope. What's up, man? Very nice car. Look at that. It's a 650S. Very, very nice. That's when you know the car is safe and locked. That's what I need on my car, man. What is down there? Is there anything cool? We're gonna find out. Let's cross over. Say goodbye to McLaren. 650S. So this is a, I think, Wellesley Hotel? Was it Berkeley Hotel? Yeah, that, 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 that's the one. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my, is, is that what I think it is? <gasps> oh my days. Okay, we got a um, 720S. But even more impressively, you got one of the coolest SVs, Money Come. I bet it don't. One of the coolest SVs that money can buy. It's a Moshe Lago SV, people. Look at that. Damn. So we got uh, a Lamborghini sandwich. We got two 720 S's. And between, we have 
the Mercy Lago SV. Oh man. So if you know, you know. The car that came before the Aventador. But some say this is a better version than the Aventador. I'll let you guys make up your own minds. I'm going out of McLaren 720S over here. We have two of them with a lift system up, obviously. It makes the car look a lot worse. But you gotta do that, otherwise they get it scraped and scratched. So that gap is a bit unsightly, but that's why you have the lift system, man, so you can override like bumps and stuff like that. Couple of fiber wing, dark spec, and that is just an absolute beast. Oh my days. There you have it. It's a uh, NSV. Couple of fiber wing. The V12 lives in there. I mean, jeez. Absolutely crazy. Can you guys see? It says V12. 6.5 liter. Oh my days. That's our little trip to the petrol station. Is this manual? Let's have a look. Ah, uh, it's not the manual gearbox one, but I ain't gonna say no to that. You got a mod ball, people. The 720S. Interesting. So I guess silly question about which car are you guys taking? That's a simple answer. I'll be surprised if anyone takes anything other than the SV. Mercy like SV to be exact. So that's not bad. Okay. Let's carry on with our journey to uh, High Park Corner. It seems we're gonna see a lot of McLarens today. This again, roller skates, what's up? <laughs> And there's a guy on foot, and that's me. Okay. Whew. Look how blue the sky is today. Oh man. The sky is so blue. It is punctuated by that white Bentley Bentayga going into that base in the underground. Yeah, you got a few spots of white clouds but the blue is overpowering balanced by the greens of the bushes and trees and stuff and the grey and black of the concrete and asphalt is it asphalt or is it asphalt? one of those two, who knows I think it's called asphalt <laughs> oh my gosh yeah the weekend it's drawing to a close. It's almost a brand new week. Monday just around the corner, people. We got Charlie. We got Balo. What's up, man? Hello, man. How are you? Man, I'm good, man. How are you doing? Hope you guys are all good. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribing button because you subscribed already. And uh, yeah. So having a casual walk the long way home through Knightsbridge as I do most weekends because I guess you guys want to see some nice cars right so if you just tuned in we've seen a Huracan Evo McLaren 650s uh, a Marshall Lago SV 2720s's a pair of uh, Rolls Royces one coupe one drop head and uh, I think it was a Brabus G-Wagon what else I think yeah that's about it <laughs> oh man and a whole heap of blue skies because it's summer up here in the UK, man. So much green and blue. What a contrast. If only every day in the UK was like today, 32 degrees. Actually, that, that would be too much. I don't mind a bit of snow. Uh, snow is quite nice. What's up? It helps you appreciate uh summer as well and spring i just wish the winters were not as cold and if they were let there always be snow okay in my country where i was born you only get snow on mount kilimanjaro man we have sunshine. We only have like two seasons. You have sunshine and sometimes you have rain. 
and when it rains it doesn't rain all day the raindrops are huge but it rains and then it's finished and the sun comes up again so yeah the UK is a little bit different man let me see what you guys are saying so Balor said I'm good thanks whoa good to hear that man anyone having barbecues and stuff man you might as well take advantage of the barbecue friendly weather and enjoy it go to the park dance sing and all that stuff There is someone revving the hell out of the car. In this heat, might not be a good idea. But it's not my car, so. See that car right there, right? It ain't even got a drive shaft. It's chain driven like a motorcycle. Like one of these things. So yeah. So where the supercars at, man? Oh yeah, we're gonna be passing by the Dorchester for sure, man, because there's a high probability that Mr. Polish is here, man. This guy is a Polish corner, he never goes home, man. Mr. Beard, what's happening, man? <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. Oh, what, yeah. what does that mean? What's what's uh? I'm tired because of the weather. The weather's good, right? Good. Very very good. 32 degrees. Oh, 33 at some point today, so it's not too bad. But uh, where's where's the cars? I don't know. <laughs> Probably in the garage. Have you seen a lot today? Oh no. Boring. Really that bad? Do you know why? Because everybody went to Silverstone today. It was Lewis Hamilton won again. It was an amazing race, like a really good race. He got 10 second penalty and still won the race. Yeah. Big crash with Max Verstappen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he was like, oh no. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Is there nothing at the Dorchester? Maybe it's on the uh, white undercover. Yeah, okay. That's not bad. So people, according to the, to the beard, uh, there's a wire at the Dorchester, so we're gonna go check it I out. Don't, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, okay. Now, now he's denying he said it. <laughs> yeah, okay, there might be you and there might not be, who knows? So we're gonna walk down that way and find out. So uh, are you gonna stay here? We're gonna do okay. here. Okay. So if I see anything, I'll let you know. If yeah. not, I'm gonna carry all the way around and come back here, come back here again. All right, to the beard. Take care. Catch you later. <laughs> all right, we are gonna attempt to cross this road. I know my mom sometimes watches the live streams, so mom, it's okay. I will cross when there's nothing coming my way. Oh my days. Palo uh, Mano said that I'm French, so my English is not good. Hey, dude, your English so far is perfect. It's definitely better than my, my French. Mon ami, your Anglais is parfait. Does that make any sense? I think it does a little bit. Oh my gosh, the Suzuki Jiminy. These things are super cool. Look at that guy. He found a cheat code to life. Eh, kinda. Okay, it's now safe for us to cross the road, so we're gonna do that now. Uh, yeah, man, French is a beautiful language, man. I know a few French words. Mostly swear words, but <laughs> I can't use that here. Again, because my mama's watching. Sometimes. So I gotta watch what I say. You know, the African parents, man, you always get slapped around the head. Doesn't matter how old you are. If you say something out of tone, you're gonna get a clap around the head, probably the ear as well. You get a conk on the head, man. What's up? Yeah. We got a GDC for Luso. So we got our first Ferrari of the day. Not bad. It would be nice to see an SF90 or the new hardcore uh, A12. Woo! That looks insane. We got a Bentley Bentayga. 
like we don't have enough of out here in the UK but uh yeah there is one that is a 2019 tasting version and that is an older version pre-2019 so there you go you can tell because of the slight difference in the design of the rail lights and I built the front as well so yeah okay let's see you guys are saying we got Ramiz what's happening Ramiz how you doing man I hope you're good I hope you're enjoying the hot weather if you guys are also having hot weather uh, for my Canadian friends and, and watches and stuff man I feel for you guys man and also for Germany and also Turkey as well because boy the flooding up in there man is insane nature is so nuts right you go half the world on fire with bushfires and stuff because it's too hot then you got the rest of the world like um, floods just put the two together then you have no fires but uh nature does what nature does man it's very very uh unpredictable and sometimes comedic but not in a good way so uh hope everybody's good and stuff but uh it's insane uh what else are you guys saying here that's crazy uh which place are you in so right now i am uh just left higher park corner so i'm heading over towards uh, uh the dorchester hotel Said, uh, oh, thank you, Brett. Thank you, bro. Uh, no problemo, man. That wasn't French, problemo, but um, uh, c'est pas problem. Oh, how, how do I say no problem in French? <laughs> oh, is it pas problem or yeah, something like that. We got Paskey 511, possibly F40 at Four Seasons. Ah, okay, interesting. That F40 broke down yesterday. It was kind of hilarious seeing some guys uh, pushing the car to safety. Yeah, it was kind of nuts. Uh, say French word for me, please. Okay. Uh, je m'appelle Inosso. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's definitely French. I think I just said my name is Innocent. Do I pass? Hopefully. And uh, we got Swap, swap Nil. He said, Yo, what's happening, man? How are you? How was everyone? Oh my gosh, I, I love this nice evening breeze after like a sweltering crazy hot day. The evening breeze is getting here now. It is proper noise. It is so nice. It was très chaud today, très chaud. <laughs> hey, the French is coming back, man. The French is coming back. What's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Yes, yes. Catch you there. Yeah, um... So we're now in a uh, park lane. People doing Instagram and TikTok and all sorts. She is definitely welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Instagram and TikTok, TikTok man, it's changed people. Every time, every day, every place is a photo ticket opportunity. Anyway. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, sorry, I meant which city? Ah, the city is the uh, city of London, man. We are in L Town, London. Yeah, we are in London, people. This is the west end of London, the super affluent part of London, where a lot of cash money gets spent. Expensive hotels. We got Dorchester over there, 45 Park Lane, where the whole car journey started. Literally, where that taxi just passed first car I ever spotted there was the McLaren P1 and after that I have never been the same oh look at that now there is something you don't see every day uh, <laughs> that's 
That is super cool, man. Three wheels instead of four. Your thoughts, please. That's absolutely insane. I love this. It's a, it's a proper summer machine, man. Like uh, just you, three wheels on the open road. Uh, I think around here the signal goes a bit rubbish, so I'm gonna have to hurry and get out of here. But uh, before I do that, let's have a look here at uh, what cars they have here at the Dorchester. Oh my days. It is like a Skittle shop in here. Okay. Rolls Royce are cool, but uh, under there is a Pagani Wire. Oh crap. It's a shame we can't see it because uh, it's under wraps. But I filmed this before in a previous live stream, so yeah. Absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. I gotta say, that 812 super fast. Is that a. Uh, I don't know what Ferrari that is, but it looks nice. But this is just beautiful. Pearl white 812 super fast. And then over here, my favorite, favoritest ever uh, Ferrari Roma. That color is just damn. Giallo. Is that Giallo Modena? I don't know. But uh, that is just beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's the best color I've seen on a Roma yet. Thank God it's not red. A lot of people say they don't like this grill thing, which is the same color as the body, but I don't really mind it. I think as long as it's the same color as the body, it's okay. It's not, it's not that bad. But that is a nice, bold color. The original color of Ferrari was actually yellow, not red. So, fun fact, right there. But if you know what the other... <laughs> What's up, man? If you like American cars, check this out, man. This is just damn. <laughs> Look at this. It's an art piece. It's a proper art piece, like a boat. But I don't know what you guys think about American cars in general, but uh, this is not a bad car. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. It's an El Dorado. Was that a TV show back in the day? What the hell is that? What in the world, what the name of all things holy was that? That's so random. But uh, which cars are you guys taking home? Roma 812. Don't know what that is. <laughs> the wire, I think the wire probably wins. It's just a shame it's under wraps, man. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Your comments up in here. That's a defender that loves his roof. What's up, man? How you it's doing? Oh, uh, you know, the mini's broken. Uh, sir, sir. <laughs> yeah, the, the wheel. Oh, man. It almost fell up almost 70 miles an hour. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A, oh sorry. It was, a, it was a sketchy moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, space is a bad idea, so I took them off. <laughs> yeah, but how's your. You, 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 know, you got a bike, right? A little bit, right? Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, you, you learn and you live, right? All right, take it easy, bro. All right. See, I love the guys out here at the Dorchester, man. They're always so cool. They're always happy to see you. They say hello to you and stuff like that. At the hotels, man, they suck. But like, these guys, they're cool. They even offer you water and stuff. That is dopeness right there. That's called service. Uh, okay, uh, that's crazy. Uh, sorry, I meant, oh, I read that already. Uh, Sepa. Separate on problem. Ah, okay. So that no problem. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, merci. Uh, Balo. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, you should make more vlogs because uh, you are charismatic. Yeah, man, I really appreciate that one. Look, I wish I could. I mean, the thing is, like, uh, because I work as well, so it's kind of tough sometimes to uh, to come out and do this car stuff because it involves traveling long distances. And then, like, uh, yeah, sometimes you finish work, you haven't got time to do these kind of like vlogs. But saying that, I think I said in my last uh, live stream, I might start diversifying and doing other kinds of content because, you know, cars will always be there. But I think I mentioned there's more to me than just cars. So watch this space, is all I'm saying. So hopefully, you guys like travel and do more travel videos as well. The UK is an amazing place and I haven't seen a lot of the UK to be honest with you. So I definitely, when the car is fixed, I want to do more explorations and stuff. 
and I want to share those explorations with you guys. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like that. There will always be a car element though. You know, because uh, you, you, you know what time it is, man. We love our cars and stuff. Uh, that's crazy. You should, oh, okay, I read that already. All right, so we just left the Dorchester. We're heading over to uh, Mount Street. And uh, yeah, 20 mile an hour zones are a joke. I'll say that because, right, imagine like, often I'm driving at 20 miles an hour, a bicycle takes, takes, takes over. I mean, like, it takes me over. How is that fair? How is it a bicycle can do more than 20 miles an hour and I have to go at 20 miles an hour? That makes no goddamn sense. Usain Bolt can run faster than 20 miles an hour. So he could legit just overtake me when I'm driving. I can understand why there's a 20 mile an hour limit in some places, but there's some roads where it makes no sense to have a 20 mile an hour uh, limit because it's just stupid. But hey, I don't make these decisions and stuff. So yeah, there you go. Let me know what you guys think. Like wherever you're watching from, what are your roads like? What is like your speed limit for like an urban like areas like this? Is it 20, 25, 30? Is there no speed limit at all? I think there should be limits, but there should be reasonable limits, not just stupid ones like that. Like on Putney Hill, for example, why the hell is that 20 miles an hour? That should be 40 miles an hour. 20 just makes no sense, but it is 20. Ah, uh, go Valentin. Hey, you said, hey, you good? You said, hey, you good? Yeah, man, I'm good, man, I'm good. And uh, yeah, how about you, man? Um, a okay. Today was a beautiful day. Squatching, squatching hot. And uh, I can see my Clarin SLR. Not at the camera, but uh, yeah, SLR, man. One of the coolest cars uh, of all time. Okay, they're useless to drive. Not useless, they're not fun to drive. Basically, imagine a boat with wheels. Uh, that's apparently what it's like. I only drove one in a car park. <laughs> and I loved it. Ooh, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Woo. Absolute boss car right there. But uh, this, cool. This is not bad. It's McLaren SLR. It's all white on the night. Rolls Royce again. I mean, woo, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. V12 by AMG. Yeah. I just love that long nose, man. Like a proper muscle car. It's like a European muscle car. I think it's something that Mercedes been doing a lot, a lot lately. Like uh, they're basically making European versions of American like uh, muscle cars, man. You have the AMG GT, uh, GTR Pro and all that. They all kind of have this similar kind of design language thing going on. So you can definitely see the family resemblance. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this beauty. Are you a fan or are you like, nope, I don't like them. Then tell me why I don't like them. Okay, so let's head over to Mount Street, people. This is also a very, very affluent, meaning super expensive part of London. Like, if you can live here, that means you got loads of cash money because uh, houses here, apartments, super expensive. So, you can't live on a shoestring and live here. So, yeah. You gotta have very, very deep pockets, man. I'm not talking about like a few million here and there. I'm talking about tens of millions. And sometimes I'm talking about hundreds of millions. So put that into perspective. Just makes you wonder, man, how crazy life can be sometimes. To some people, 20 pounds are a lot of cash money. 
to some people 20 pounds is nothing it's nothing worth like thinking about because <laughs> everyone earned 20 pounds an hour these guys earn several thousand an hour or more than i know someone who earned, like, i can't really say but uh the people earning hundreds of thousands per hour so that's uh, how nuts uh life can be how much does jeff bezos earn per hour per minute per second i would love someone to find that out <laughs> it's insane what else are you guys saying here uh Oh my gosh, yeah, Valenti said you watched the F1. Yeah, I did, man. What a freaking awesome race it was today. I know Lewis and uh, what's his name? And Max Verstappen touched, but it was a racing incident, man. I was saying earlier, I want to see these drivers race because that's the whole point. You're going to have contact every now and then because both drivers want to win. They weren't going to give each other an inch. And unfortunately, they touched and Max came off worse. It is just the way it is and uh that's it so let's just move on lewis got a 10 second penalty which i thought was uh when well, no, i thought it was harsh but it is the way it is but he still came back and won the race in style so you know he can stop like get off his back and uh you know he got the punishment he took it like a man and, and he won the race game over other people wanted him to be banned and all this nonsense talking like max is like uh, an angel or something this what top top competitive sports people you know they, they race hard you want to see hard racing but let me know what you guys thought about the race um i thought it was an amazing race you want to see more races like that hearing the crowds roaring hamilton on was absolutely insane and i haven't heard the crowd look at that mercedes goals the only thing that guy's missing is a nice nice girl next to him he looks really lonely yeah that's uh that's cold you know, you need a nice girl next to you and some slow jams. Oh boy. Oh boy. It'd be a good evening. Sorry, mum, if you're watching. <laughs> hey, Cullinan. Smooth. Quiet like uh, a thief at night. So, yeah. Yeah, it was an amazing, amazing race. Let me know if you guys watched the race, what you thought of the outcome of the race. Should Lewis have been penalized more for the crash? Or do you think was racing is an incident? Or do you think Christian Horner was whining like a little bee? I don't want to say that word. Uh, he was saying that Lewis put Max in the hospital and all this kind of stuff. I mean, come on, man. I was seeing Max do way worse than that. And he didn't say anything. It's funny how you are when you're trying to protect your own interests and stuff. And the helmet, helmet Marco, if his name is, I don't know, I don't know his full name. The guy who owns Red Bull. He was saying Lewis should be banned, uh, all this stuff. Shut up, old man. What are you talking about? Another Antigua. That's the third of the day. We have an Aventador over there in bright orange. Woo. Look at that. And then it's actually colored 911, but that orange is just insane. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, don't be filming me, please, bro. You know, I'm live on YouTube as well, man. Oh, yeah, love me, love me, love me. <laughs> all right, all right, that's, that's all good, man. But Bro, have a nice day. And you too, man. But uh, look at this, man. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> oh, another Rolls Royce. Oh, my gosh. Mental. Nice color, but the orange on this. Uh, it's G-Wagon. Contrast. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And then, you know, if you like colorful things, how about this 911 Carrera 4S? It's got this sweet booty right there. Ooh. Oh man, absolutely insane. I'm gonna try and cross over, man. I love that color, man. I love bright colors, because I'm from Africa. We like bright colors. something sounds good that could either be a bike which i think it is or some kind of v12 i think that was a bike that sucks uh okay let me get back to your comments up in here uh that was oh no that's a regular sls input no there's no oh did i say slr oh no sorry oh my god i can't believe i said slr as well that, that is cold <laughs> you know what I, I i realized the error of my ways that definitely wasn't SLR. It was definitely SLS. 
Oh my gosh. Sorry, people. It's hot. The sun got to my head. <laughs> I, I just, oh man, je suis de soleil. Très de soleil. Oh my days. Oh, that was bad. Uh, Pasky Fabulous said a professional football footballer equals 5,000 pounds plus per hour. Jesus Christ. A professional F1 driver equals 20, well, 20 pounds per hour? <laughs> what, what was 20? 20K per hour. That is insane, right? 5,000 pounds plus per hour. Oh my gosh. That's mad. That's crazy when in a day. It's got Walker's TV. It's a RA. <laughs> it's R A W K U S. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's live though. This is uh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's live. Yeah. Got me by full shot. You went, you went, get this shit. No, because you know, I, I see the clothes. I'm like, yeah, man. No, 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 I, 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 I love it. I love that. As well. I love that. Thank you. So Instagram is the same. Our website is the same as well. Wow. All right. I make like uh, live videos like this. So I do oh, edited videos as well. Playing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So everything's on there, man. All right. Yeah, thank Take you. Take it easy, bro. But but those are the drip is hard though, man. Hey, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real. Easy. <laughs> all right, people. Look, <laughs> it's always cool just to like just meet random people. So we're now uh, in Mayfair. So we're now like uh, is it Barclay Square? Yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, where are we? Where, where are we? Um, so, where are we? So, that's crazy. When in the day video coming? When in the life video? When? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Funny you just mentioned that. I was literally talk, talking to my cousin about this. Uh, the thing is, when I do that, I don't want to do, do some, just some random video. Like, uh, I want to make it interesting. So, uh, I may have to take you guys somewhere that you've never been before. So, you know, it... <laughs> It's, it's a long ass story that's what i'm saying so uh i can't just tell that easily it's uh yeah it's gonna be interesting that's all i can say right now but you are right <laughs> that will come at some point for shizzle okay so balo mano said uh oh my god my favorite car <laughs> which one <laughs> hopefully not the sls or not the slr that's it because i got that one so wrong <laughs> It was not an SLR, it was an SLS. God damn it. Oh, that was so bad. But my bad. So, Bala, what is your favorite car? Don't tell me Citroën. <laughs> I can hear an Aventador. Can you guys hear that? It's a V12. There's definitely a sound of a V12 somewhere. Hopefully it's coming this way. Maybe it's that orange Aventador. Should I wait? That is definitely the sound of an Aventador. All hands down. Is it coming this way? We're gonna find out. That AV, man, you can never mistake the sound of an Aventador's V12. That is a fresh, unique. Oh, uh, I think it's going away, man. God damn it. Just come this way, man. Yeah, I think it went the opposite direction. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks. But uh, yeah, so we're at Berkeley Square, the place where all sort of cash money exchanges hands on a daily basis. You have like Bentley, you have Bugatti here, you have Ferrari here as well. In case you're first time here, let's take a trip to the Bugatti showroom. Let's see what goodies are hiding there today, man. Hopefully it isn't under wraps. There's already a family up in there having a look through the window and stuff. Because you know, we love cars up in here, man. See this Bentley? That's your style. You feel like the quiet and smooth and luxurious stuff. You know, you got Bentley. There's Rolls Royce here as well. But this is the Bugatti showroom, people. Uh, we're gonna have a quick look inside. You guys looking at the cars as well? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you got a whole family out here looking at cars. Yeah. You're gonna start them early. <laughs> but look in there, we got a Bugatti showroom, right? Can you guys see that through that reflection? That is pretty insane. Uh, yes, matte color. Hmm, very nice. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, see, they started the younglings earlier. You know, the earlier you start, the better. So they're gonna grow up loving cars and stuff. So. I want one. Which, what do you want? That. You want this? Yes. Yeah, you, know, you, you can have one, you That's can get one. so cool, I want one. <laughs> Amazon is a place, man. It's going to Amazon. You can order one. I love it. Oh, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And you. All right. So, like I was saying before, this is um, it's Bentley. But uh, you guys will want to see more Ferraris, right? So that's what I'm going to show you guys right now. What Ferrari do they have in there? We're going to find out. Over there, look at that. Oh, my gosh. 812, super fast. Uh, Ninja spec right there. We've got another Roma. But you guys are gonna love this. Look at that. I mean, look at that beauty right there. Oh my gosh. Oh no, what have they done? They frosted the freaking window with a, oh, that, that, that blows. That blows hard, man. Why did they do that for? We wanna see the cars. That is just beautiful, man. That is a, uh, yeah, that is drop dead gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think. Perhaps you prefer that. You know, the dark spec. Dark berry. Again, long nose V12. So let me know if you guys are a fan of the Ferrari uh, 812 Superfast, TDF, and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, Ferrari showroom. If you ever come to London, you gotta check out this place and the Bugatti showroom as well absolutely beautiful cars in there uh yeah let this search continue people this ooh, sounds naughty sq5 man that just sounds like an angry animal it is cool okay let's carry on man <laughs> what else are you guys saying uh oh my gosh no no aventador oh, my, oh your favorite car is aventador yes yeah, we've got a lot of AVs here in London, man. Like, uh, so many. You even see more in the summer as well. Yeah, but it's an absolutely beautiful car. Uh, 511 said, uh, nah, how many there are in the world? <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, Alex Reynolds, I want to go to London so bad. Yeah, trust me, man. Just if you do, make sure you come in the weekends, though. You get to see so much more at the weekend than you do, like, you see uh, stuff during the week as well easy but i also yeah the weekend we've got a 488 gtb over here we've got a 458 over there so 458 came before the 488 then over here we got a huracan with a wing <laughs> oh my gosh i don't know if that looks good or not but i let you guys decide for yourself right is that wing cool or is that a little bit not so cool i prefer the wing on the performante but you know it's your car you can do whatever you want easy <laughs> But uh, yeah, the color is not bad. But that wing, not sure about it. And over here, we've got another 911 as well. Carrera 4S, the second one we've seen today. But uh, this Horocon. What's up, man? You guys good? Yes, yes. Check that out, man. Yeah, is, that, is, that, is that yours? Yeah, that's his, that's mine. Yeah, what, what kit do you have on it? That's the Aero kit. Damn, would you not walk like uh, from, is from, it? Factory. from factory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's cool. That Are you on live? I'm here on YouTube live, yeah. What's your, how many? Chloe's got 50,000 people on his live now. Okay, yeah. Hold on. If you want to get my Instagram, this is my <laughs> car. Um, I like people. That's my Instagram. All right, okay. Um, all right. Can they see the name, yeah? Yeah, they can see, yeah. Yeah, all right. they can see all that. If you want to give me a follow, let all right, me know, check yeah. Out on I'll pass you back to the main man, yeah? <laughs> all right. That is this very, very cool. One more classy, man. Come on, so yeah, bro. that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 let's ask the lady, right? Yeah. Which one would you take out of these two? Well, Be the honest. Man or the car? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the car, the car, the car. No, I take this one. Take the pool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Thank you, my Thank you. Oh man, you just broke his heart, man. In front of so many people this as is well. Classy, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. This is too fast. Yeah, but let the viewers yeah. decide. What, 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 yeah, what, what, what do you guys think? Which car are you taking? You taking the the V10 or, or the, the, or the six, six cylinder flat six, flat six. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that one. You like that? Why? Why? Why do you like that one? one? That one has more class to be. That one is a little this bit woman too class. The thing is though, the way you dress, right? You look like, you should be liking that one more. I mean, look, look at the drip on this lady. Look, look at her. She is dripped from head to toe. She is definitely a Lamborghini girl. You can tell. 
Uh, look at that. You, like, <laughs> you are definitely a Lamborghini girl. And then stand next to that. She doesn't even know it. Stand next to that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Let's have a look. Yeah, Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay, all right, no, I admit, I think, <laughs> yeah, she's definitely a Porsche lady right there, man, that is insane, so, like, <laughs> oh, look at that, oh, she, she got to show the booty, too, oh, my, oh, oh, hey, hold on, we got McLaren joining the party, yeah, but it's, not on, it's not on this level, what's your YouTube name? It's called Rawkus TV. It's a R A W K U S W K U S T V. Yeah, Rockers TV. So Instagram is the same, YouTube okay, website is what it's saying, yeah? Put it in, man. All right. I'll take a look now. Oh, thank you. So oh, that is so cool, man. Like, uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. What the same? I live in Kent. Yeah, so gonna have to take the Porsche. They're saying take the Porsche. Oh, oh, thank no. you. Yeah. Done, done, done. Thanks, man. Thank you. Like they say in the Ventador, it's a horror. It's a horror yeah, it's definitely not an AV. Yeah, you see, you see. All right, look, you won this jewel, man, right there. And now, I think, I think you find you find a lady as well for you as well. Nice. He's not going home alone tonight. I hope your wife ain't watching this because you know, you got to be the one kind of Oh, okay. What's happened? Something crazy going on down there. Thank you, right. thank, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll catch you guys all later, alright? Right? Peace all out. Alright, ciao. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, you, you gotta love it, man. You got this is why you love London. You see so much randomness happening here. But uh 488 over there. And, uh, uh, what's the road, man? This, uh, this is like this is Berkeley Square. Oh, this Berkeley all, Square. Yeah, Berkeley Square, yeah. yeah. Square, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but nice to meet okay, you guys. Alright, take it easy. Okay, ciao. Man. Thank you. Okay, we got a we got a McLaren. We got a McLaren, and it's orange as well. Very, very nice. But I don't think the McLaren, you know, comes close to uh, the, the Huracan. I mean, the McLaren is probably more fun to drive. Don't get me wrong, but the Huracan, you get like uh, more cylinders, and you get two more cylinders and stuff. That's what is nice. But that 458 is beautiful, man. Beautiful. Another Bentayga over there. Uh, what else is going on here? Okay, let's go here. Oh my gosh, there's so many of your comments. Okay, let's start from this start, man. All right, what are you guys saying here? So, uh... Hibalo Mano. Nah, not Citroën. <laughs> or maybe Peugeot, I don't know, man. Oh, Bugatti, Bugatti is kind of French, right? So there you go, man. So you got, uh, yeah, one of the coolest cars in the whole world. Look at these guys. Smooth! Oh my God, wavy to the max. Swaggy, baby, the <laughs> you got swag. Like uh, someone brings out his swag, man. And the G wagon just rolling back, you know, that's uh, left to the right, man. It's a like soft suspension over that. And there's a guy walking his dog. So there you go. All kinds of things you can do on a Sunday evening up here in L Town, London. But uh, we are heading over to the Novi Kof. Uh, who knows what we're gonna find uh, along the way. All right, let's see what else is gonna here. Um, that's crazy, man. You have what it takes uh, to succeed in YouTube. <laughs> oh my God. If it's your passion, then go hard. I'll go hard on it. Hey, man, I appreciate that, man. Uh, he says that's crazy, man. Yeah, you're the man, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What's up? All right. Poor student. Look, I'm, I'm wearing shorts. I can't afford trousers. Look, because I'm a poor student. Look, I can't afford a proper camera. I have my phone instead. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I'd be asked for cash money, man. What's happening, man? All right, cool. It's like, uh, yeah, if you ask me for cash money, like, jeez, uh, like, I ain't got no cash money to give, man. I'm a poor student. Uh, anyway, uh, that's always my excuse. Uh, Valo, it's Lamborghini. So you go for the Lamborghini. Yeah, the V10 sounds absolutely insane. There's nothing at this hotel. It's quiet today, so that's a shame. Um, yeah, road works up in here. Road works up in here as well. But uh, yeah, and then if you come to London as well, check out this place. Whew. It's a new uh, Rolls Royce showroom. Absolutely luxurious to the nth degree, man. It's like, a, yeah, this is luxury on another level for real. Rolls Royce motor cars, absolutely cool. You might also see this as well, uh, the other side of the coin. So. <laughs> And they got a Bente Bentega. Jesus Christ, the Cullinan, man. I always confuse Bentega and the Cullinan. I don't know why that is. It's, it's so random, but look at that. Man, it's just like, yeah, insane. 
you buy that car when you know you got nothing else to live for you're just like you know what i don't care about lamborghinis i don't care about ferraris i just want a nice comfortable car you get a car in and maybe you got a lamborghini in the garage as well you know it's like uh yeah absolutely cool cars but uh this is a uh, novikov we're coming up to right now uh very, very cool bar uh restaurant but uh, be prepared to pay a little cash money when you come here because it's not cheap it's a uh, very very expensive man um yeah when you bring a girl in here except to pay a little cash money for cocktails <laughs> you don't want to do that every weekend because ooh, oh man oh man oh man let's see what's happening down here gosh it's so hot man the breeze is gone okay that's your comments up in here um Shiro 110 oh my gosh yeah the 110 is beautiful like um yeah the, the one that was in the showroom you mean yeah i filmed the 110 when i was in dubai uh i think it was february or march what's up yeah it was absolutely insane it was white as well and the spec was ridiculous yeah i love it and i saw it at the geneva auto show as well which is kind of mad that was like in 2019 as well jeez I mean the Geneva Auto Show, another G Wagon. They're everywhere in here. We've got a Tesla. Uh, what else are you guys saying here? Um, Pasky said uh, they frosted the windows so passengers uh, don't lean on it. Ah, oh, okay. And smudge the windows. Ah, oh, you know what? That makes a lot of sense because a lot of people, I kid you not, including me, lean up on that window to look inside <laughs> or take photos and stuff. So, yeah, you're, you're right there. But that's just like, ah, oh, it kills the whole vibe. You know, but yeah, I see why they've done it. it makes perfect sense. So Pasky said, uh, Novikov uh, ain't that bad. The main dishes are about 30 to 50 pounds. That's the thing, right? What kills you is, is the cocktails, though. It's that they, <laughs> the food is not too expensive, but they, when you start adding up the food, the cocktails and stuff, and especially if, if your girl likes to drink, oh boy, <laughs> not going to hurt your water big time, man. It's going to hurt like, woo! Oh man. But you don't go to a place like that to scrimp on cash. You go there to like have a good time. So, you know, be prepared to spend some cash money. And I hope the girl is worth it as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, that's the new Defender. I like the old one better, but I ain't gonna say no to one of those. And then over here, we got like a, we have an i8. This car, get so much hate from me as well i, I don't want to call it hate it's just like a misunderstood in him it's just like a, he needs more power three cylinders is just like nah it's not cool man either make it full electric or don't make it or give it more power give it at least a v6 or something that deserves at least a v6 or maybe even a v8 but they gave it a three cylinder and then to make it even worse it makes fake sound in the cabin to fool you into thinking it's something more than it is that was a big mistake if you love cars, you don't want to know that. Man, it's so quiet. Usually around here, you see all kinds of supers and stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, if anyone's just tuning in right now, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribings and uh, share a link with someone who may um, want to watch videos like this, right? Road trips, oh my gosh, I so want to do that. Oh man. Just get in the car and explore love to do that but we're gonna go all the way back to Knightsbridge again because uh we always go full circle and uh yeah we've seen a lot on the way here how much we're gonna see on the way back we are going to find out so i've got oh man I, uh yeah i got another someone your name is in arabic i don't know what that means but i uh, said hello so hello right back salam alaikum man uh <laughs> what, what's up he said yeah, just um, I was going home, uh, as I always do at the weekend, I go home the long way. Uh, when I go home the long way, I go live. Uh, often on this live, we talk about cars and just a lot of random stuff. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> so whereabouts are you from? Are you from Dubai? Are you from like, uh, um, you know, Saudi Arabia, Iran? Or oh, whereabouts are you watching from? Let me know. It's always good to like uh, have a diverse audience in here people from everywhere around the world man the more the better 
thumbs up. All right. So that's what we want to see. But man, there's not a lot of cars out today though. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a left here and uh, we're gonna go down, what is that? What is that, what's that? Yeah, let's go down Curzon Street. Yeah, Curzon Street, man. This place here, right, was the first time I ever smoked seashore in my life. I was 18 and that was the last time because after that, I felt like there was a frog on my chest. Like when he smokes, I think mine was apple flavor, but I felt that it, like there was liquid in my chest. It was weird, man, I, and I spoke weird. I spoke like some kind of weird cartoon. It was a very, very strange experience. It put me off seashore for life. That was the last time I smoked anything. The first time I smoked was when I was probably, I think six or seven, uh, me and my sister, nicked my uncle's cigarette and I climbed the tree and we're smoking the tree and my mom saw the smoke from the tree <laughs> oh my gosh she beat that smoking habit out of us and since then didn't smoke <laughs> oh man yeah it, it was crazy but the things you do when you're young because uh you know you see your uncle smoking you think it's cool so you think it's a cool thing to do as well But my mom made sure we never do that again. And so we didn't until the seashore incident. And I was like, okay, I ain't doing this ever again. So yeah, there you have it. We have been live for an hour. Damn, didn't realize that. Whew, that is a long time. Yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> oh my days. So much construction here in London. It's, it's no joke. Every day, everywhere is construction going on. It's like Dubai. In Dubai, every street is construction going on. And they start work early, man. They don't care if it's the weekend or whatever. There's drilling going on. They build throughout the night, seven days a week, pretty much. And if you're not used to that, it's quite surprising because you're sleeping. And then all of a sudden, you hear like drilling and stuff. You're like, what the hell is going on? And things just like, yeah, it's, it's mad. But that place is alive with construction. And the buildings up in there are just on the next level, man. Some seriously crazy, like architectural masterpieces. Yeah, madness. London, we don't have that many tall buildings. Don't know why that is. I mean, we've got a few in the city, but not as many as like a, nowhere near as many as Dubai, or like say like, a, I don't know, Hong Kong and, you know, Shanghai and, and those places. You know, we have relatively uh, not so tall buildings, man. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I let you guys decide. But uh, we are still walking through, leaving Mayfair with every step, heading back to Knightsbridge. And then I'm gonna go home until the next live. Hopefully at a week end. So I don't know if any of you guys drive cars with spaces. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you do, make sure they're good quality spaces and make sure you check them on the, regular, on, on, on the regular. Or just in general, before you drive your car, make sure you check all the bolts are in place, especially on the wheels, because uh, sometimes they do come loose, apparently. So, you know, check that stuff. And you get yourself a jack. And uh, obviously a wheel wrench, because you never know when you're gonna need it. So yeah, we got a gold smart car. I expect to see that in Dubai, not, not in London, but uh, yeah. We see all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> oh, it's so random, man. It is so random. Man, there was a breeze. Now the whole breeze is gone. Like my shirt is literally clinging to me like skin. It is so hot. So if you guys are going on a road trip right now, right? One, where would you go? And two, in which car? Three, who would you take with you? That's three things there. 
let me know uh, um, in the chat. Man, the food smells so good out in here, man. It makes me hungry. G wagons, they are probably quite good for road trips. They're quite spacious, they're comfortable, they're built for the rough and tough. So that could be an option right there. Hoo wee! It's getting dark ASAP. ASAP. See, this is a 20 mile an hour zone. How do I know that? Because it says it on there. It says connection is poor around here. Oh, God damn it. Bada bing, bada boom. You know what? Boys and girls, I think I'm gonna finish the live stream here. If I see anything else, I'll go live again. In the meantime, because the signal here is kind of patchy anyway, I may as well save some data. And uh, if I go like, if I see anything cool, I'll go live again. So once again, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next live stream, people. Woo, oh man. Oh man, oh man. If I see a Bugatti show, I'm going live ASAP. But uh, have a good rest of the weekend, people. And uh, peace out for Mayfair in L-Town. London. Au revoir. <laughs> oh, Mano, how was my French, man? How was my French?